Thank you for coming to see me on such a short notice. I know you've been very busy. So, I suppose I'll get right down to business. Let's skip the small talk, hmm? How do you like working with Aki Hayakawa? That's good. I'm glad to hear that. He doesn't seem to mind working with you either, which I think says a lot about you as both a person and a devil hunter. I know this line of work can be difficult, especially given who your fellow teammates are. Which brings us to the matter at hand. I've been watching you. Oh, don't get me wrong. I watch all of you. It's important to be a good supervisor, you know. I think a lot of people underestimate me because A, I'm a woman, and B, I'm a young woman. So, it's important for me to give them no ammunition when it comes to underestimating my abilities as both a devil hunter and a supervisor of devil hunters. It's a very fine line, you know, between being a demanding boss and a hard ass. I obviously know what your abilities are and what you are capable of achieving. And I want to pull out your full potential. I need to make sure when you are on the field, you and your team are giving 110%. Because if you don't work that hard, the chances of your survival is less than 10%. Don't ask me how I worked out the numbers. Just trust me on this. But lately, it's occurred to me that maybe, maybe I should take a step back. Let you breathe. You've been a very good boy, haven't you? Working tirelessly to protect the people of the city, to uphold the reputation of our squad. To make sure I am above reproach. So, I want to reward you. Come here. I think I know exactly what you need. Hmm? What does it look like I'm doing? Isn't it obvious? This couch is long for a reason, you know. It's perfect for laying on and taking a good nap. And with me sitting at the end, I'd say it's a perfect situation for a lap pillow. Don't you think? So, come on, lie down, put your head here. I don't have a lot of time. I've got another meeting in two hours, but until then, I want to make sure you get your just rewards. This is what I can do as your supervisor. Don't be shy. When you leave this room, we will never speak of this again. For the next two hours, though, you and I will be alone to do whatever we want. You want rest. I want you to relax. Our goals are the same. Now, 
Be a good boy and come here. Don't make me ask again. You seem skeptical, but your skepticism is wasting time better spent on other emotions. So, I'm going to give you until five. And if you don't come here by then, then this offer will forever be denied to you. Five. Four. Three. <laughs> I knew you'd come to your senses. Because you're a good boy. Aren't you? And you know how I feel about dogs say no. Useless pups get euthanized. I would hate for that kind of fate to befall you. And I'm sure you feel the same. I know. It's been hard. You're doing the best you can, but with the way the city is, the way the devils seem to just be getting more aggressive, multiplying in numbers beyond what we devil hunters can deal with, you and the entire division have your work cut out for you. But I think you'll do just fine. You're stronger than you look, and I like that. I have somewhat of a love-hate relationship with the surprises, and your progress in the squad has been quite the surprise. I mean that in a good way. Don't worry. <laughs> Your body stiffened for just a moment there. Did you think I was going to scold you? Hurt you? Maybe. Don't be silly. I couldn't hurt such a cute pup like yourself. Especially when you're doing such a good job protecting the citizens of the city. <laughs> you look so adorable right now, smiling like that in my lap. Does it make you that happy to know I am pleased with your progress? Hmm? I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. Would you repeat yourself? You work hard for my sake? <laughs> That's a reward for saying such cute things. You really do know how to butter your supervisor up, don't you? You're such an adorable little pup. Whatever am I going to do with you? How about another reward? Your face is such a pretty shade of pink. I kind of want to keep seeing it. We can get a lot done in two hours. You know, we can do things like this, things like that. <laughs> it was worth saying those words just to see the look on your face. But I can't have you hot and bothered, as it kind of defeats the purpose of helping you rest. So, how about I help you calm down with some head pats? Which is what one does to a good little pup like you. <laughs> yes. You're such a good little boy, aren't you? 
I'm so lucky we have you on the streets. Protecting the citizens. I still can't believe how quickly you've picked up this job. How long have you been with the squad again? Three? Four months? And yet, you've eliminated over 20 high-ranking devils, 19 of them by yourself. Honestly, I'm impressed. And that's not something I say often. You see a lot of things in this line of work. As I'm sure you already know. For example, that beetle devil you came across a few weeks ago. How quickly did you eliminate it? Under ten seconds, according to the eyewitnesses. That's... quite a feat. Normally, you would be lauded rewarded beyond your wildest dreams, given so much power you might just outrank me. But lately, with the way things are, not being able to do something like that is more of a liability. Unfortunately, that's the current state of things. No wonder you're so overworked. And what's worse, no one seems to appreciate all your hard work. No one but me. I mean it. I really do appreciate everything you do. Another kiss? You're turning into a greedy little pup, aren't you? Very well. It's okay if you want to fall asleep on my lap. Otherwise, what else are you going to do for the next two hours? Well, one hour and fifty minutes now. Don't worry about me. I don't mind sitting here quietly, playing with your hair. It's getting a little long. Why? Is this the kind of style you like? Too busy to even go to the hairdresser. Really? That seems egregious. Tomorrow, before you start work, you ought to go to a salon. As much as I kind of like it, I think there is a certain image that we ought to project as city-sanctioned devil hunters, and we can't afford to be scruffy. Can we? Woof, if you can understand me. Like a good little doggy. Good. You're such a good little doggy. Now, close your eyes. Take a deep breath. Listen to the faint sounds of traffic outside. There's a few birds nearby. They're singing their lovely, lilting. starting to relax. I think your shoulders feel a little less stiff. But maybe that's just wishful thinking on my part. Hmm. No such luck, huh? That's a shame. And here we have another hour and a half to get you back to normal. 
Actually, I can think of another thing we could try. Some would say it's even more relaxing than sleeping, while some would say the exact opposite. I guess it depends on the person.